central circuit is located in the Hyogo Prefecture, an hour west of Osaka. The main street is regularly used for HKS street drag meetings where pretty much any car can enter, so long as it has street legal tires. An amazing variety of cars hit the track, including classics like this 1971 GDR. We'd like to see these two race. Our money's on the Nissan. Even with sticky Nitto 555R tires, the two-wheel drive cars have a lot of trouble with traction. Keep your eye on this red Supra. A lot of drivers like to use the rev limiter as a shift indicator. The black car is an R32 Skyline built around 1992. This one is rear wheel drive, but the GDR version is four wheel drive. The Nissan 240SX is real popular for drag racing in Japan, but they all use the turbo SR20 engine. The new Nissan S15 Silvia is the latest version of the 240SX. It still uses an SR20 turbo engine. This 180SX, built by Top Fuel, has a massive truss T8834D turbo. This is great for top end power, but if you bog down on the line, you have to play catch up, like this. Front wheel drive cars are not as popular for drag racing in Japan as they are in America. You only see a few Hondas in the odd Toyota, like this AE101. This is an Evo 4 Mitsubishi Lancer. These cars are normally used for rally, but HKS Kansai built this one for drag. Older cars like the classic 240Z are usually naturally aspirated.
this one obviously had a turbo engine. The white car is called the Toyota Soarer. That engine is based on the Supra 2JZ twin turbo. If you race a rotary in Japan, you're racing an RX-7. FC and FD RX-7 turbos are a class in their own right at street pits. the wall. Speed magazine is one of the more popular auto mags in Japan. They're using an FC RX-7 as their project car. Great paint, but it's not the fastest thing out there. Amazing how close to standard some of the FD RX-7s look, but they still run times like this. Others aren't so normal. This RX-7 is always racing at Central Circuit. It uses the popular Trust T8834D turbo. The second yellow RX-7 has a matching body kit and turbo. Seems like it has a bit of a ground clearance problem.
Let's see it again. The rear-wheel drive cars are impressive, but in Japan, the Nissan GDR is king of street tracks. It's rare to see a street drag GDR run slower than a 10. count on an impressive launch. The older R32 models seem to squirm the most off the line, but there's no question about the advantage of four-wheel drive on street tires. The newer R33 shape is less popular for drag racing due to higher cost, but they're not slow. Japanese drivers are quick to back off if their car has a problem. With engines costing more than 30000 to build, you don't really want to break anything. This 1200 horsepower R33 built by Endless has run a best time of 8.97. It's one of only five GDRs that have run an eight on street tires. It uses a pair of HKS 3240 turbos. <laughs>
There's so many R32 GDRs at a meet like this, it's hard to tell them apart. You don't see too many parachutes on street drag cars. If they do have one, it only gets used in emergencies. mid-nines. That sort of smoke is always bad news. The R34 is the latest version of the GDR. This one features Mazura paint that shifts from green to blue to violet. It looks more like a show car than a nine second drag car. The engine makes around 1200 horsepower. Once again, the turbos are HKS 3240s. Even the inside has been painted to show standards with a pair of bride race seats. The twin 3 inch exhaust system features a pair of carbon fiber mufflers. Not bad for the first run. Let's see what it does this time. The fastest car at this event was a neat R32 GDR built by Garage Original. It uses smaller HKS 3037 turbos, but that didn't seem to hurt it any. 
Hard to believe it's still street registered. 